Welcome to Mango Pro. Today I'll be talking about how to design for print in Linux. Yep, Linux using CMYK. The future, maybe. Okay, so we're in uh, Linux now. Uh, this particular flavor is called Ubuntu DDE. It's a nice looking distro. Okay, so firstly we start with how to convert an image to CMYK in Ubuntu. So I've got Critter running here, which is a good piece of software used by a lot of artists. It's on Mac, PC and Linux. If you go to File, Open, open a photo or an image. In this case it's one of my uh, night sky photography ones for my Facebook page Mango Photo Studio. Right, if you go to Image, Convert image color space. Where it says model RGB alpha, you can select CMYK. And um, the default profile is chemical proof, which is fine, but I think you can import color space here. So if you had like a fog for a profile from Photoshop, you might be able to use it. Um, I haven't delved too deeply into that bit, but the main thing is you can convert to CMYK. So right, if you click OK, We'll see there's a slight cover, color shift just to show that it's working. So uh, yeah, that's handy because CMYK support for Linux has been non-existent for, well, since the beginning really. It's quite good because you're now starting to get pro level features. Um, if you think of DaVinci Resolve as a video editor, that's a pro level piece of software that's now on Linux. Linux is starting to remind me a bit of the, the Mac when it started making a comeback. It was really nice to use, but it didn't have and Linux is starting to get the same vibe. So anyway, I just minimise that one now. And uh, yeah, for vector illustration or to make business cards, leaflets, that kind of thing, we've now got Gravit Designer. It was a piece of software that was brought out by Coral Draw. It's uh, this particular instance is a uh, it's installed on Linux, but you can run it in a web browser as well. So. In this, uh, I'll just start again from scratch. If you go File, New Design, you can select the business card size here, 85 by 55. In this page properties here, you can add bleed, three millimeters. And a good rule of thumb is to put a four millimeter guide from the page edge for designing, because you don't want content too close to the edge. Right, just put a dark gray background on this. Okay, in here where it says fills, you can define a CMYK colour, which is uh, brilliant because uh, people have been asking Inkscape to add this for over a decade. And they keep saying, yeah, yeah, we'll do it, but they never do. So, um, right, so we've got our dark grey CMYK background and now we can import a, a logo. I've got an SVG here of my, my print business, I'll just stick it up in the corner for now. And, um, I'm a bit of a novice in this software really, but I just thought it's handy because you know, I'd love to be able to fully move to Linux because I'm a bit sick of the Windows and Mac approach now where they seem to want to have all your data all the time, especially Windows anyway. Just put that in CMYK also. Just make say. Is 11. Okay. And we could maybe, oh, I don't know, put a coloured box across the bottom. Fill out contact details. Maybe we'll use the eyedropper. Pick the yellow from here. Click on fills. Change it to CMYK. Yep, this is CMYK. And uh yeah. just a web address in that section. Okay, maybe eleven points again. Into the middle. And then you know you could put your Details like your phone number 0208 857 
I haven't actually got that number anymore, but I can't remember the new one, which isn't very good as a business owner, is it? I need to just change it in the last week, though. So I've moved to a cloud phone system. All right. Uh, put that in 10. This email, however, is correct. Okay, so you've got your business card mock up. Now you can save it as a PDF to send to the print shop, wherever that may be. So in this graphic designer, if you go File, Export, you can go PDF Document, 300 DPI. And as you've defined the bleed in the page settings, it will add it on the PDF. Okay, so if we now open that PDF, just uh, with a double click. Oh, it looks like it's open in LibreOffice, but uh, that'll do just for demonstration. So yeah, as you can see, it's got the bleed on there. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it'd be great to hear of someone using this in a professional environment and let me, let me know if you do and how you get on in the long term. Cheers and all the best.